Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into lesson 5 of our Majourney video series. If this is your first time here, don't forget to check out the first four lessons for a full catch up. Today's exciting topic the stylized parameter. Stick with me to learn how this cool tool can totally transform your AI art. So, what's new with Midjourney? They've just introduced Stylize Parameter in their AI for creating artistic images. This is a game changer because it lets you play with the artistic style of your images, giving you more creative power. Here's how it works. The stylized setting ranges from 0 to 1000. You can choose how much artistic flair you want in your images. The default is a balanced 100. But the real fun starts when you play around with this range. At Stylize Zero, your images will be pretty close to what you asked for with little extra flair. Move up to Stylize 50 or 100 and things start getting more artistic while still keeping true to your prompt. And if you go to Stylize 250 or higher, that's where the magic is. Your images will start to have their own unique twist, maybe even changing your original idea in cool ways. Let's dive deeper into these settings. The different versions of the Midjourney models, like version 5.1, 5.2, version 4, and Niji 5, support this range of stylization values. Let's try effective different stylization values. Using Stylize is easy. Just add Stylize value to your prompt in Midjourney. Experiment with different values to see how each transforms your creation. Stylize Zero produces images that closely match the prompt but with less artistic influence. Stylize 50 results in a low level of style. Stylize 100, default, strikes a balance, offering a medium level of style. Stylize 250, renders images with a high level of style. Stylize 500 and above creates very artistically styled images, which may deviate more from the prompt. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content on Midjourney and other creative tools. If you have any questions or specific topics you'd like to see covered in future videos, please leave a comment below. Happy creating and see you in the next lesson!